this in the past, but I gotta ask. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Now, in my past two playthroughs, I never recorded certain things, and these things were uh, really actually interrelated events with certain areas, apple seed timber being one of them. You end up with three interactions, and then if you return back after the third interaction, you'll see them working, potentially uh, doing things. Or if you wait too long, you'll come back to just vacant, clear-cut land with signs that the company is now done. In this case, I went through all three interactions, and... Then I showed up while they were working. So let's get on with the apple seed timber uh, encounters. The first encounter is when you come up upon the camp and they're just getting started. You come out, if you see the foreman, you can go and talk to him and you'll find some information out. Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We thought of getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, <laughs> look at these dopes. There's not a brain between them. Listen. You got any supplies for sale? Food? Medicine? Starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. And that's it. Sell what you can to the foreman. The next time you come riding through, a really interesting event happens. We've done all we can for you. you. Come back for your money at the end of the week. I can't pay you in full for today, of course. The rest of you, stop gawking. Get back to work. Come on! And you there. Thanks for the help. <sighs> Thank you for your help, mister. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. <sighs> Yeah. 
that form is a real basket, ain't it? Here, we should help you get back on your feet. Thanks, mister. You're a good man. You can be a good guy, give him five bucks, but what you don't want to do is pull a gun on him and, well, think about putting him out of his misery. Because now you are trespassing and committing a crime, these guys start shooting at you, and you got to run away. That's not good. So the third time you return, the foreman needs your help. Too much time on this already. Mr. Appleseed is very unhappy. Mr. Appleseed ain't out here getting mauled by wolves. We lost two men already. What's your good for nothing, cowards? Yeah, yeah. You call yourselves lumbermen? You afraid of us few damn critters? It's a forest. What the hell do you expect? Oh, yes, you. You've been a real bastard to us in the past, but I gotta ask. These wolves have got me at the end of my row. They've been attacking workers on the south side of the camp. We need a real man to get rid of them. What do you say? He'll be very well rewarded. All right. If you're paying, I should be able to take care of that for you. When you enter the yellow area, you can start looking for clues, but if you just run out of the yellow area at some point, the wolves don't come for you. Like, there's a clue, and you can examine it, and you can follow a trail, but yeah, it's just blood spots of the guys they attacked, and then you got to follow a trail, and I happened to overshoot it. And had to return back. So, yeah, it's my tracking skills are, how should I say, not that good. I sort of just randomly ran around and realized I got to return back to the main area. Yeah, before you return to the foreman, skin the wolves. You may get a good wolf pelt or two. Using the sawed-off shotgun is not exactly the best thing to use. But the whole point of it is you're not trying to get a perfect wolf pelt. You're just trying to kill the wolves. And yeah, if you used a poison arrow or something, you might, might maybe get a good wolf pelt or a perfect one. But it's a lot easier just to use the sawed-off shotgun and kill the wolves. And once you get the wolves skinned and determined which ones are good or poor, Call your horse, you get the wolf hearts at least, and you can sell them to the trapper.
What's wrong with you? Oh, there you are. I assumed from all the gunshots and howling, you got some good news for me? Yep, it's done. <laughs> That's a relief, I'll tell you. Excellent work. Money's right there on the table. Don't mention it. Me and wolves go way back. If you allow several days to pass and you return to apple seed timber, you'll see an active timber cutting operation, which is really awesome. Red Dead Redemption 2 has a lot of detail in it. Hello, mister. Hello. And there you have it. Foreman wouldn't have even given Arthur the time of day. What an ungrateful jerk. This is actually really awesome detail within the game. And I came back a few days later and saw this operation going. If you wait longer, it's just going to be clear-cut land and nobody working on it. Now I return 
to apple seed timber this is like a couple weeks go by and yeah take a look i'm going to hit the panoramic view the cinema photography for the cinematic camera and nothing it's all clear cut it's desolate this is like several weeks of gameplay later i mean i just didn't come back to this area and like after the last time i showed you and like i said it's just clear cut no one's working you got abandoned uh office stuff like that and you walk in there's a rat i'm gonna try and take it out with a throwing knife so let's see how this works out And that's it. I mean, you can explore the camp if you want and maybe try and find some things. But in reality, everyone just left. Everything is gone. It's completely abandoned and the area is completely clear cut. If you found this video interesting, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and some specials, and you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.